Hold your proper course, said Paul Kayard, as his voice echoed around the Haraki Gulf. Greetings, I'm Peter Montgomery, and I've been privileged to be at every America's Cup since 1980. But one memory stands out was the final of the Louis Vuitton Cup in Auckland 2000, featuring America One, skipper by Paul Kayard, and Luna Rossa Prada, skipper by Francesco De Angelis. Intimidation. The umpires are coming under. One minute it was uh, Torben Braille saying above it. Now you can hear Kayar and Kostecki as they try to bully the umpires. But it came to the downhill slide towards the finish as Prada had come from behind to take the lead. And then it was attack after attack, wave after wave, as America One kept coming at them. In America's Cup 2000, there was a major advance in audio technology. And so we were able to take viewers right into the scrum of both boats. And they could feel the electricity, the energy. This was the real deal of the sailors trying to get one up over each other. And we were ringside to it all. Paul Kayard and his afterguard weren't only yelling across the water to the Italians to hold your proper course, perhaps they were also trying to influence the umpires as well. So the umpires were thinking, well, is Luna Rossa Prada really holding their proper course? This has to be the most pressure that the umpires have been under through this Louis Vuitton Cup. Not very off. Yellow penalty. They've actually thrown the penalty. They have. And I think they've been talked into it. Within the shadow of the finish, after 17 hold your proper course, it came down to not only mind games, but the physical games. And if they were just a fraction off, that could open the opportunity and a window for the trailing boat to pass. And that's what we saw happen. He's going to cross. He's going to cross. He might be second penalty. Might be a double penalty here, but he's crossed it. Stand by Jai back. Stand by Jai the other way too. Whoa, 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 no, no, no. Did he hit him? Did he hit him? Jive back. Prana will jive back. Look at the head tools. Who's going to fill and who's going to get the momentum quickly? And we can see down to Lewin that Luna Ross has stalled a little bit and it is America 1 getting up pace, getting up pace, slowly inching over and so they're able to just get their bow out and that was enough to do it. Prana have got America 1 outside the great move. Inch by inch, winch by winch. This enthralling tactical battle that involves everything that is brilliant about the sport of yachting and about the sport of America's Cup. This has been absolutely fantastic. The tactical nuances and subtleties. The intimidation and bullying of the afterguards on the umpires. And coming down to the line in an absolute thriller. And America 1 is going to get a final victory. America 1 gets there and beats Prada by less than a boat length. Luna Rosa, they learned a lot from that and they were able to take some of those lessons and also so very well to challenge for the America's Cup in America's Cup 2000. And that was the first time that a yacht from the United States was neither a defender or a challenger.